hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we are asked to solve for the value of our x and the value of y okay so let's call this equation one and this equation two from equation one from one we have x plus y is equal to 30 right x plus y is equal to 30 so if we make y the subject of the formula it's going to be 30 minus x okay now let's call this equation three now let's substitute equation three into equation two okay substitute substitute three into equation two all right so if we do that we have x times y x times y is equal to 30 so x multiplied by remember that y is 30 minus x 30 minus x is equal to 30. now let us open these brackets okay so if we open these brackets we have x times 30 which is 30x minus x times x minus x squared is equal to 30. now let's transfer this to this side of the equation okay if we do that we will have 30x minus x squared minus 30 is equal to zero now this is a quadratic equation let's rearrange it well so we'll write minus x squared first followed by this and then this so we have minus x squared plus 30x minus 30 is equal to zero now let's multiply through by minus one multiply through by minus one okay the essence is to remove this negative sign that we have here so if we do that we have um x squared minus 30x plus 30 is equal to zero yes now at this point let us um <coughs> Use the quadratic equation formula to solve for the value of x. All right. All right. So remember that using the quadratic equation formula, your x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. So x is equal to, remember that our a, our a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of x, which is minus 30. And our c is a constant, which is 30. Okay? So, in everything that we solved there, the important equation we can take from there is y is equal to 30 minus x. So, let me write this somewhere. 30 minus x. Okay. Now, let's continue. All right. Now, we have x then is equal to minus b that is minus minus 30 plus or minus square root of b squared that is minus 30 squared then minus 4 ac 4 multiplied by our a is 1 and our c is 30 all right now everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1 so we have x is equal to minus minus becomes plus so we have 30 here plus or minus the square root of minus 30 squared will give us 30 squared right it's still the same thing as 30 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 30 everything divided by 2 okay now let us solve we have that x is 30 plus or minus the square root of now let's factorize let's bring out 30 since they share that in common okay so we have 30 30 squared divided by 30 1 30 will remain right so we have 30 remaining minus this divided by this 4 will remain okay divided by 2 now we have x is equal to 30 plus or minus square root of 30 brackets this will give us 26 right everything divided by 2 now if we multiply 30 by 26 it's sent in as 260 times 3 0 8 carry 1 so we have 780 okay so we can now write this as x is equal to 30 plus or minus square root of 780 divided by 2 now let's simplify 780 
So we have two divided this. We have three, three remainder one. 18 divided by two will give us nine and we have zero. So two we go again to give us one, one remainder one. 19 divided by two will give us nine, nine remainder one, right? 10 divided by this will give us five. Now you notice that we have two times two, which is four and four times one, nine, five. That is what we are going to write here, okay? So we can now write this as x is equal to 30 plus or minus square root of 4 times 1, 9, 5. Everything divided by 2. All right, now x is 30 plus or minus. Now when you have square root of a multiplied by b, is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b. Okay, so that means that we can write this as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 195 everything divided by 2 so our x is equal to 30 plus or minus 2 root 195 everything divided by 2 now remember oh i've cleaned our b but no problem we can still form it from here our y we can form it from here all right let's continue so x is equal to 30 divided by 2 plus or minus 2 root 1, 9, 5 divided by 2, right? So we have x is equal to 15 plus or minus root 1, 9, 5. So this is what we have as the values of our x. So it means that we have two values of x. That means that we also have two values of y, right? Okay, so the first value of x is 15 plus root 195 and the second value of x is 15 minus 195 now let's go ahead and find the values of y when x is this and when x is that okay so we continue we continue all right now when x is equal to 15 plus root 195 when x is equal to 15 plus root 195 remember that from here our y is 30 minus x okay y is 30 minus x so it means y will be 30 minus 15 plus root 195 okay so y will be 30 minus 15 minus root 195 right if we open this bracket so we have y is 15 minus root 195 so when x when x is 15 plus root 195 y is 15 minus root 195 all right when x is equal to this when x is equal to 15 minus root 195 okay all right that means that our y will be 30 minus x that is 30 minus 15 minus root 195 all right now we continue so y will be 30 minus 15 plus root 195 that means y is 15 plus root 195. So it means that when x is equal to 15 minus root 195, our y is 15 plus root 195. Now let's check. Let's check. We have that x plus y is equal to 30, right? Yeah. Now when x is 15 point plus root 195, y is 15 minus root 195. Let's use this. Okay, let's use this and this. So our x here is 15 minus root 195, right? Okay, then plus our y is 15 plus root 195. Now, is this really equal to 30? So you can see that this is plus, so it doesn't really affect anything inside the bracket. So we collect like terms. It's going to be 15 plus 15, right? 15 plus 15 then we have minus root 195 plus root 195 minus root 195 plus root 195 is this really equal to 30 okay so we have 15 plus 15 we give us 30 minus this plus this is zero so you can see that 30 
is equal to 30. If you also um, check other solutions, you will use it to prove that this is equal to this. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video.